Oh, wait. Oh, goodness me. Dear Lord. That's the wrong oh, thing. That talk. Mess up. All oh, that talk. And see, mm -hmm. everyone, you get to witness Where's a, the bingo beautiful, card? a beautiful moment where the joke flies like an eagle over Meso's head. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> back to our what? regularly scheduled program. Pretty sure this is the right music <laughs> nice. this time. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not the right music. No. Why do I have why do I have two different musics no, in this folder? There's too many musics, man. So got, got real, too many no, someone seriously. just drop a beat. Someone, someone put beat. someone put them in storage. Uh, yeah, that sorry, feel no, when no, you no, forget no. what the brick feed song exactly. sounds like. It sounds a little like this. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Brick Feed Podcast 312. I'm LJ. I'm XX Trooper. I am Messenac. I'm Tenebra Invictus. And I'm Haley. Oh, come on. <laughs> Beautiful. What? what? Oh, it's Haley. Yeah. Welcome uh, to the Breakthrough Podcast, <laughs> <laughs> She's Sorry. been here before, Messo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. What episode is this? Uh, 312. Oh, fudge! 312! 112! <laughs> no! No! Uh, <laughs> I, I, I have not been away for that long, man. Dude. Uh, LJ, you, need to, you need to go back to bed. You, you want to talk, <laughs> Mr. No. 20 minutes ago? That, no, LJ, no, no that one's going to bed happened. once the party started, man. You, you are, are in cool. Are we, all, are we all just going to take a nap during this podcast? Let's take a nap. No. Uh, no. Can, we don't sleep on the, the job. The podcast or... will be us talking in our sleep. I can sleep talking about Ninjaga. No. That's sad. That's just sad. That's no! No! Rude! <laughs> Even when asleep, the truth comes easy. No! <laughs> uh, Can we I... have everyone awake for this uh, podcast today, fellas? And Haley? Yeah, man. <laughs> Can I not we be got, a we fella? Got... No, we got. I don't know. I'd be I, awake I... for this. You can be a fella as well. Okay. So the next time <laughs> I'll just take you. fellas. Let's do that. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Let's go. All right. So, <laughs> first question for the fellas since last brick feed. No. Okay. Thanks. So, has anyone here gotten any sets or built any sets? Yes, both. I win. Ha ha. Oh I really? I win. Do tell yeah. X. I have. Uh, do do the thing, LJ. Ba, that I ba, ba, ba. Yeah. I my um my girlfriend's um father uh was stuck in America for a while for some work thing, and he came home uh not too long ago, and he had brought um he ordered the um, Vader's castle off uh, Amazon in America, and then brought that Whoa. to here. Ooh, so nice. very nice. Yeah, so that was wow. um, so that's kind of like a very late Christmas present for me, and I got that, and I built it two days ago or one day ago. It's all a blur, man. I don't know. I I built it. It's right here in front of me. It's great. It's tall. It's imposing. You know, it's a Star Wars set, and it's not a ship. You know, it's, it's all kinds of crazy, and I love it. It's great. It, it's got a color that isn't either red, black, or dark gray. Yeah, it's surprising. It has a, a lot of color for, for a Star Wars set. And Star Wars is... I, I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with Star Wars at this point. Because <laughs> there's aspects of it I love, and there's aspects where I'm just like... You know? They're phoning it in. <laughs> yeah, but but sometimes, you know, there's those sets where it's just like, ah, oh, man, I, I gotta get that, you know? Before this, I think the, the last one was like... Um, General Grievous is a wheel bike where you just got like a really really nice General Grievous. Mm -hmm. um, Grievous Grievous is God. you know I mean um, it's so cool. But yeah, but yeah, this uh, is nice. It's it's really great to have those few. I really want uh, Star Wars to like do a lot more like buildings in in general, just because there's a lot of interesting architecture through a lot of the episodes. So it's great that you know I got a hold of something like this. You know, it's a lot out there in like the, the old legends lore and um uh i think the only reason why they made this an actual set was that we saw it in um in rogue one so it has like a film appearance and uh and yeah i'm, I'm i really like it I, I can't really i don't have much complaints it's it has nice interior 
Um, I talked about a lot of things when it, this was first revealed as to why I like it, and those all those reasons still apply. You know, it's a great set. There you go. That's that's, awesome. that's my review. It's great out of ten. Gosh, dang! I'm I'm happy. I'm really like I'm genuinely happy that there's a Star Wars set that you like. <laughs> yeah. And you, uh, the really small TIE fighter as well is, is, is great. It's it's incredibly tiny, but it actually fits in minifigures as well. And it actually um, fits under in like a little hanger. We have a, a question so, just... in the YouTube live chat from Meerkat who asks, how is the new Holocron oh. piece? The new Holocron piece? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any new Holocron piece that I know of at all. Like, uh, like like the tiny uh no tiny guy? are you talking about like are you talking about like uh the little like sith shrine that's on the side because that's just like a like a purple nexo knights thing oh um, no no i think <laughs> i think he's talking about like the actual like the hologram of, of sidious it's like hello there oh is that no. new for this because i feel like i've seen those a lot before but i think it's really neat i have not had any of these before but i i feel like they've appeared in um uh, like the big ships, um, uh, Star Star, etc. But I just haven't bought those ever, so I've never seen those. But you have one as like a transparent blue, and then there's two just complete black ones for the shrine as well at the bottom. Mm hmm. Die. So yeah. But I'm not sure what you meant there. But I hope that answers your question. Otherwise, if you're telling like, there's no other. Like new holocron piece that I know of in this. There's there's not that many new pieces in this. There's it's just more of a. It's not a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what uh, what we would normally call like a retailer exclusive kind of a set or something that doesn't feature many new pieces but is still cool. Yeah, yeah it does have a unique minifigure though. It has um, uh, it has like Vader in his uh, back to tank where he's like topless and stuff, and uh, the Imperial transport pilot. It's kind of like a blue version of uh, like the tank troopers that we got from some of the Rogue One sets. So nice. it's actually some nice minifigures. And it was also my very first time getting the new Darth Vader minifigure as well, which is really cool. I like that the helmet is in like two pieces. It looks a bit more like um, a bit more like realistic. It looks more a lot more like like an action minifigure head because um, the proportions of his face are a lot more accurate. Um, mm -hmm. than, like, the previous version. But, like, the previous version has, like, that very, like, classic Lego look to it, you know? And it was, like, the first. So there, there's a lot of... I don't know. I have, I have, like, a special love for, like, the uh, the old helmet as well. But, you know, it's, it's just cool getting some new minifigures as well. So, yeah, it was it was one of those few times where um, I was really interested in Star Wars set, and it looked really, really... Uh... It's without a doubt one of the best ones they've done in a while. Yeah, yeah. Just just the fact that they've d d done, like, one comprehensible building... <laughs> with um like walls as well like it's not like just the tiny bit of like uh, an architecture like you see a lot with a lot of license sets which I've... um it's it's nice to just get like one full building you know and it, it was yeah yeah and it was there was a lot of like really cool built buildings from like marvel so i was like kind of itching for like ah oh, kind of like a building with like a bunch of storages and stories in it and stuff it looks really nice you know it's basically like a like a Dude bro dollhouse. <laughs> Dude bro dollhouse. <laughs> yeah, but for height. Darth Vader and it's it, 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 everything's everything's it. like dark and black and stuff. You know, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's great. I like it. Gosh dang, if we yeah, did just uh, imagine really nice. like your your kids playing with it. Let, let's play with the Dude Bro dollhouse. Yeah, dude. Bro, <laughs> let's go. Nah, dude man, no one's getting bro. to touch this thing, man. It's gonna stand on top of my shelf, you know, looking all imposing <laughs> and stuff. It's great. Majestic. So, yeah. You're gonna put it in a lava God, you, said, you had you said and i like it you know so it was a it was a nice dude, experience bro. yeah yeah the dude brown house <laughs> that's amazing yeah. I, I like your picture of it it's pretty sweet yeah thanks man i just it it's literally i took it like right before this podcast it's just it's <laughs> sitting oh dude that, is, that bro that is I, fresh yeah it is <laughs> that was, Tight, bro. You know. Like, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to oh. X Experience. <laughs> yeah, the X Experience. That's fantastic. The X Experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. So, did anyone else get something? Because that's so. Nope. Good. 
No? See, I went to the mall yesterday. I was going to go to the Lego store, and it was closed, specifically just for Friday. They even had a sign on there saying, that, oh, we're closed on the 19th, but we'll be open tomorrow. Like, really? But I, <laughs> they have another Lego section in the mall, and I looked around, and there wasn't anything too appealing. I wanted to see the new stock in the Lego store. Um, I did see on clearance there was like a couple of the Star Wars construction sets, and I was not surprised that they were on clearance, but it was like the Baze Malbus from Rogue One, the big guy, and then uh, Ray. <laughs> so I can see why they kind of got left to uh, left hanging out there. They're like pathetic, but... so that's, no one wanted them. <laughs> but I've, yeah, started a, I've started an update series trying to chronicle the sales of Star Wars Construction, because my target moved them all to, like, an Is this for play. a video, or are you just obsessed? No, just, just my, personal, <laughs> my personal experiment. So you're Someone, obsessed. My store moved them to an end of display of Star Wars merchandise, I think, to try to get them to sell more. And we're currently on day nine, and every time I go into a shift, I'm just, like, taking a picture <laughs> of the display about how, like, no more have sold and probably never will. <laughs> the pathetic <laughs> poor <laughs> Solo <laughs> and Darth Maul. Do you but, dress yeah, enough I mean, to pay respects every time you go buy it, Massa? Yes. <laughs> okay. My the store has like the Lego Overwatch sets, but I'm not willing to pay twenty seven bucks for Tracer and Widowmaker here or forty five for uh Genji and Hanzo. Oh, so my I, gosh. I contacted my dad about uh since he works at Walmart for getting me a Dorado showdown when I get back. And that's only like twenty four, so twenty four there. So, yeah, I might get a Lego set that I won't get my hands on for a couple more months. Fair enough. That's reasonable. Uh -huh. um, anyone else? Any other builds you built or any other uh, sets you set? Nothing? Doesn't look like it, man. All right. But before well, we get on, though, can I, can I just say something, though? Of course. Well, Don, you posted some really nice ham and cheese toasty. I approve of this. <laughs> you must be having a really good time right now. Been eating those while listening to, to us talk. Well, I hope, you, hope you're having a great time. I, I will that, I'll go that, ahead and uh, That has post. my seal of approval, that toast right there. He is the... Uh, after this. The ham... The, uh, sorry, not the ham. The, uh, the cheese toasty master. The aficionado. Mm -hmm. Um, You're not and if only we could experience his hand in creating such masterpieces at Brick Fair this Ooh. year. You gotta be going, Ed. I, I, uh, I haven't let go of my hope that you're going. Well, I hope so. I mean, I, I got it. Like, I got a job, which is great, uh, but I don't oh. get paid in three months, which is after what? summer what? vacation. Yeah, oh. I, I need I need to work there for three months before I get paid. What kind of job is so cruel? It sounds like what a printing a company. Mess. Oh, they should just yeah. print you some money. <laughs> <laughs> do you not understand what that do to the inflation? A... Are you crazy? You know, hey, you want to be rich? Spy pruder, man. That's, that's, why they, that's why they wait Literally three rich. months. They gotta take inflation into account before they print oh the money. Oh uh, um, I built some things over on the uh, uh, channel run by Kevin Hinkle, Mr. Hinkle Draws, on his backlog building stream. On Mr. Friday, uh, last Friday, so the 12th, I built almost all of the 2007 Bionicle playsets because they're coming. The reviews are happening. They're going to be a thing. Um, so I built two out of the three on stream. However, I was able to build the last one after the stream had ended. So they're all really interesting, and I'm very excited to do the reviews. Okay. Noise. So that being the case, uh, since X started things off with a little bit of Star Wars, we're going to start things off again with a little bit of Star Wars. Hey. Uh, more specifically with a new set reveal. So over the week, we had Star Wars Celebration. A lot of interesting things came out of that. Um, the Rise of, of Skywalker, which we all have very negative thoughts on. Um, dreadful title, <laughs> probable dreadful movie. And oh, come on, we That'd also. Be hopeful. It... How about this? Rebellions are built on hope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So during all this, we got news that a new Star Wars game is coming, a Lego Star Wars game. We got news that other Star Wars games are coming, and we got a new Lego set. It's set number seven five two four four, Tentive Four. 
The set contains approximately 1,760 pieces and is going to retail for approximately $200 in the United States. And it'll be available from the 3rd of May, according to Brickset, with no VIP early access. Also, come on, Brickset, it's May 3rd. I'm not going to follow <laughs> this this convention. <laughs> anyway, discuss. Is I like hand? this, um, what'd you say? Is that a hand? Well, like the, the entire It looks ship. like an arm. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> like it's someone's giant... fist goes all the way down to the uh, elbow. Well, I, I, I think it comes down more to the design of the Lego set, not the actual one. That I don't think. I can't unsee that like now, one. but I, I see exactly what you <laughs> I mean. I was kind of I... thinking of that. <sighs> it looks great when viewed. Really, I've, I've like... looked at this ship for years. Like Before I saw the fist, I was going to say, wow, this is another generic silver Star Wars set. <laughs> but <laughs> it looks cool now. WTF, I love this set yeah. now. Yeah, it's like a big <laughs> yeah. It's great. You could buy yeah. two, and then you can just make a giant robot. Because it's a time ship, plus a fist. It's great. Well, but, if you look at it from like more of the back side view, yeah. it does not look as much like the fist. Yeah, like, I guess the front of the ship is like the the cylinder part. And then the, the, the fist area is the, the boosters. It just kind of looks weird. When does yes. this appear in Star Wars? It's literally the first ship <laughs> you serious? ever see. It's the first ship you ever it. see in Star Wars. Ever. Oh, this is really? this is the uh, this is the ship that Leia is on then. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. the very beginning. Why, so it's kind why, of like a really. Why the don't they put Vader in there? Ship, the problem with this ship, though, is that you know, um, like there's the two ships that you see at the very beginning. You know, it's just a Star Destroyer, and then there's this, right? Mm -hmm. And they're not scaled appropriately whatsoever because that's just completely unrealistic okay. you know so what you have though if you want to kind of have that on your on your display you know you can't really it doesn't really work with having both you know because because mm -hmm. what they're just not scaled appropriately whatsoever so it kind of looks weird to have them mm -hmm. side by side so that's why most people you'll see them get the star destroyer because it makes more sense to have the star destroyer and then have like a very tiny version of of the Tantive Four ship, if that makes any sense. So it's it's just, just it's just it might kind of been like an odd ship for a very long time in Star Wars. Like it's it's very iconic and it's it's very recognizable, but you know, it's it's not up there with like the Star Destroyer, etc. So it's Haley. I'm really glad you asked that question and not me. <laughs> I thought this was like an episode six ship. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I no, thought this is the cape. Uh, I thought they did the cape never... was Lando. <laughs> If you ever need me to play dumb for Star Wars, just DM me. Uh, <laughs> oh, are you, you guys sure you're playing dumb, dumb for it though? Wait, who's the gold guy? In, who's the gold <laughs> figure in this? What's his name? I will. I will give like th this set doesn't have like a very just ooh a new one look to me for, <laughs> because um the old the these uh last time they made this they attached it for with minifigures in it um it. Uh, it was a very long time ago, but it, the thing is, is that at like a, a local game shop that I've been in, um, this thing, um, this thing um, has just been sitting there for like the longest time. Just no, no one's ever bought it because it's just incredibly expensive. Um, I think it, I think it's like three k. Um, oh wow! Been... So they already made this. The... Oh my god! Yeah, they made this a lot of times. This is this is not the first time. <laughs> They've made Congrats, this. They've welcome made to Lego Star Wars. They made this with uh, a version, like a version with minifigures in it. They've made a Ultimate Collector series where it's just huge. They've made very small versions of it. He's it's appeared in advent calendars. You know, a lot of stuff. But I will say though that uh, also that's an excellent picture with the. <laughs> I will go ahead and uh, post this. This is from Adam. <laughs> Oh, he's got the sh Oh, that's great. That's lovely. Oh, the, the but snap I will, of my finger. I will give credit Star to Wars this new, new. Like, I will give credit to this Star Wars, to this one compared to the old one, though, is that um, I feel like um, once they've made um, like frigates like this within Lego, a lot of the time they've kind of looked a bit chubby most of the time so like if you uh -huh. compare the last one um that they made you know uh set um 10 1 9 8 
right? Um, you can see like they like the overall shape uh, seems a lot more refined in the new one. So I really like that. Even though I'm not a huge chap fan of this ship as a whole, um, I just feel like they got the shaping overall of the ship a lot more accurate and a lot like looking a lot nicer than the uh, yeah, than the previous version. So there is like a, a noticeable amount of improvements done to this ship, which you know it's it's still Star Wars, still rehashed the of an old set, but you know it's it's that that's nice, you know. They did that. So I, I'd say I feel like it's, this it's one's a, a lot more sleek. Yeah, the new one's definitely a lot more sleek. You know, it's, it's got a lot more smoother surfaces, but like just um, you know, just 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 more refined, just overall shape, um, mostly by like just just new pieces. You know, like if you look at the like dark red line that runs across the sides, you know, just pay attention to that on the new set, and then you pay attention to the red line that goes across in the middle on the sides on the old set and you, you it just becomes a lot more apparent how much like more smoothly made um the new one is in, in comparison so definitely my looks final, a lot better my final thoughts pretty neat will not buy six out of ten yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah of job, course still good job so but, yeah because yeah, you just give a massive breakdown that's what i boil it down to Okay. Well, you know that's what you're here. That's what you're here. here such, that's what I'm. Such simple yeah, you know lines. What? I'm here for. I'm here to talk about Lego Star Wars where no one else can. You know that's accurate. What's up? Thanks, Thanks man. You're a legend. Yeah, right. I do like so. the. Uh, I li I like the afterburner pieces more on the new one. I like the usage of like the. I don't know. They look like tires, right? The tire pieces. Yeah, they they've just used um like the like a very old um. Like the wheels on like the old spaceship uh, sets that, uh -huh. um, like classic space, you had a lot of uh, of that nature. But they they give like a really nice look on those thrusters, and they look black in this one as well, or black or dark gray. I'm not completely sure. I think that looks a lot better than um, a lot of like the uh, usage of light gray. Actually, I think yeah, it might be sure. good metal like I, the new. I think one. yeah, I think it's a bit more distinct than the uh, yeah. Yeah, like looking at this um, this picture right here that I'll just post right in the in the ch yeah they look good, which is like um, like that dark silvery color that um, that was prevalent a lot in uh, what is like what what do we call that color the most like Gun it was gray. Um, yeah the one Makuda like the original Makuda yeah, yeah um, that that's yeah. neat yeah. And the the minifigures they have uh, they have one new minifigure which it, to my oh, what was the guy? Because there's a guy that I've made here that I don't think they've ever made before as a minifigure. I'm 99 percent sure on that because you never know with Star Wars. But I'm yeah, Leia. This is the first time. Out... <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Um, all right. <laughs> no, so... it's Bail Organa. Have we yeah. had Bail Organa before? Am I stupid, chat? Please tell me if I'm stupid. Well, Prentice, not... Prentice is saying that's who it is. <sighs> Thanks, Prentice. <laughs> Wait, Bail Organa isn't a joke? What? Yeah. What do you? <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean? What? <laughs> I mean, are Haley, you're all it like, as jokes. It's like what? it's like taking a name. Like I don't know. Are you wondering Organa, if that's a real Star Wars name? Like, so they're gonna bail. Like, yeah, bail. You're, you're, oh. He's the dude. He's like Leia's. So Organa's gonna bail. Leia, Wait. Leia's an Organa, right? Leia, Leia's, Leia, Organa. Leia, Leia's been taken hostage, and she, they need to pay the bail to get her free. Yeah, <laughs> oh the bail is Organa. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, bail that organo. In that case, yeah. uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up, and then we'll move on to the next order of business. Um, yeah, summed up basically and... what Meso said. Neat will not buy. All right, anyone else? <laughs> Neat no? will not buy. Okay, awesome. So, how again... about you, Haley? Just to be sure. Come on. I mean, wait, that set's I gonna might be for get sale. It from my brother, if he cares, but he probably won't. Uh, so... so I thought you were. Out. I, thought I, you did the I, I didn't thing. even I didn't even know what when it was from, so I guess I shouldn't. I'm not even worthy. To it is from that. Star Wars. I will tell you that. <laughs> well, this is not, when. It's not from it. It's so not I, from I, Chima. It's I definitely thought it was from the Star flagship Wars. of the Last Jedi. The Holy crud. Well, that's technically Star Wars. We'll see if this wasn't Star. Yeah, Wars. yeah, no. I think I think uh, our patron Borvax has Trek. a good idea. Haley, please Star make a Trek vid Trek. of your interpretation of Star Wars. You should just like tell us what you think happens in Star Wars, like just in a different video. My head hey, will explode. 
Star Wars. <laughs> Bailey tells, what? Bailey tells us the plot of Star Wars. That's a good video, right? No, there. I'll tell you the plot of Star Wars <laughs> and all the good shots of every single movie and be like, look at this good shot. It's beautiful. No, Move you have to tell you the kind of person who excuse oh. all of Last Jedi's there's, flaws there's, just for the uh good the force people and bad force people and okay. they you do had, a lot of stuff okay, to mention no, this not, now just save, save it for another time <laughs> <laughs> all right so that being the case again the set comes there out may wars. 3rd no vip early access and it is a direct to consumer set so you're not going to find it in retail stores like target or, to or <gasps> i was about to say toys r us uh, or walmart so. uh. <laughs> uh, <Toys R> us. <laughs> now before we move on Ouch. to the next set uh i do want to take a brief moment to address this super chat comment. So first of all, thank you very, very Ooh. kindly. Um, oh. This is from, I'm going to butcher this name, uh, Gigi Zubiz420. So he got the day in his name. <laughs> Thanks, Gigi Zubs420. As of recording, it is April 20th. Uh, so Gigi asks, cheapest, oh, way, yeah. cheapest way to get Karzani, in your opinion? For anyone unaware, Karzani Steal is a it. bionicle set. Wait, hold on. No, X, no! The cheapest legal way! <laughs> he didn't specify this is the cheapest way. That is objectively the right answer. That is the five fingered way. The five fingered you, discount. You pay with your, with your time in jail. Pay with your dick. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, yes. Holy cow. Oh my god. That's a really god. good picture. <laughs> the brickhead. I will uh, go ahead and post oh this. Oh my I'm, god! I'm That's disgusted. <laughs> I am disgusted. Oh my god! Thank you, Adam. Okay, cheapest way, easily. Playing with your That's, sister. It's literally <laughs> when building literally, Lego sets. Literally a Lego movie two in one picture. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crud! Uh, to answer the super chat, easiest, uh, the cheapest way is probably going to be eBay. Uh, it's it's either eBay or Bricklink. Karzani, unfortunately for me, was the most expensive G1 set I had to buy for the reviews, and I had to get them overseas at the time. But new deals are popping up all the time, so definitely keep an eye f uh, eye out on uh, eBay, Bricklink, or some some more community centric areas like mask posting, which isn't family friendly, but occasionally people put some sets up to purchase. So um, additionally, you can also just buy Predac and then just. Um paint his feet green and there you go Karzani <laughs> boom got him um, got him but yeah, ho way. hopefully that best answers your question we do answer super chats it's just we might not get to them immediately so okay moving no, on we to the try next... to get them immediately though we, we try do that. Those, those are nice yeah you know. always appreciate thanks for your three dollars GG subs 420 GG you're a great guy <laughs> All right. great fan so the next <laughs> order of business is going to be another new set. So this is set number 40334 Avengers Tower. This is a gift with purchase. It's being offered free with Marvel superhero purchases on Lego Shop at Home uh, for a purchase of $75 or more. So you have to hit <laughs> $75 in your order in order to qualify for this. And then it comes for free air quotes um Please. x what is going on oh, no. this isn't the avengers tower man <laughs> it's a llama this is the fortnite pinata <laughs> it's, <one. laughs> it's the loot llama yeah, same the comparison pictures going it's around just the already. mecha version of it <laughs> the mecha fortnite pinata guys go get it it's, it's oh like, lego it's fortnite crazy. heck yeah the bro. avengers on it I'm a hundred night battle bus it. set confirmed. Um, no, it's yeah. a llama. It, it is I very... can't see anything but a llama, dude. I, I really can't. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to lie. I can't either ever since it's been pointed out. Uh, the set, yeah, apparently the promotion will conclude on the... Sorry, I'm not doing this. I'm not reading it the way you want me to, Brick Set. Sorry, Captain Rex 101. It's gonna. The promotion will conclude on May 2nd. And an exclusive Captain Marvel art print is available to VIP members with purchases of $35 or Ew. more. Two further prints will be available soon, according to this article. So. Wow. I mean, yeah, the, the build wow. itself, I think it's a genuinely good Avengers Tower. It's just unfortunately very Llama-esque. And it does come with an exclusive <laughs> an exclusive Tony Stark. <laughs> So the minifigure is really cool. Pony. Po a sentence I never expected <laughs> to hear. It's a really the good Avengers Tower. It's just 
Unfortunately, you're very llama esque. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your opinion on this? You know, it's just, it has that llama esque ness to it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Too much llama. Yeah, the minifigure is definitely the big draw here to this. To mm -hmm. this. Yeah, that minifigure. It's a great set for ants. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that minifigure going for a lot on secondhand markets, honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's quite a different one as well, you know? It's got like a mostly black finish, you know? That's pretty mm -hmm. neat. Like, yeah, I guess I see that a lot. What yeah. is- is that a ship coming out of its mouth? I think yes. It is. Okay. Mini, mini no, it's coming out from the side, not the mouth. That'd be ridiculous for mini the- Mini Quantum Llama. <laughs> no. It's, you know? it's a, the llama it's spitting it out. It's a ship-eating llama. It, yeah, it's a spit- <laughs> it's spitting. <laughs> it's the llama of energy. I hope we get a bigger version of this set in the future. Oh. If the Avengers Tower remains in- you know, importance in the MCU. Oh, no, be a Lego ideas been... set that they'll pop okay. up sometime. You know, don't worry about it. All right, and they're probably gonna make it look like a llama too, a giant yeah. llama. Yeah, that's the that's that's the Avengers Endgame. Who balances the llama? No, okay. Yeah, like Thanos. Thanos was just uh, the red herring all this time. It was the metal robot llama that's. <laughs> you know. It was Ultron the whole time. He built a giant llama in the city, and no one oh, knows yeah. yet. I am Ultron's son. Robot llama. I, actually, it kind of <laughs> looks like when you make that, uh, you know, when you use. Uh, sorry, let me let me get this together. Like okay. when you make a dog, a a dog with your hand for like a shadow puppet. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> why does why? <laughs> oh my gosh, why you did it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Let's the. Get oh potential. Um. Thanks. Thanks to uh, talking with. Uh, Oh goodness, Nick. Uh not 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 Voss. Um the uh the Twitch streamer. I forget I forget his um his full handle. But uh, I understand this is called Brick and a... Nick or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Brick Nick and Nick. Nick and Brick? Yeah. Um apparently this is called a loot llama. I did not know that. And uh well, okay. No, it's called the Avengers Tower. Out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Get with the program. Yeah. Okay. Well, in any case, again, the promotion is going right now actively and ends on May 2nd because I got to make room for all that Star Wars stuff on May the 4th. Ha <laughs> ha. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So that all out of the way, I think it's time we got to the meat and potatoes of the episode. And the reason... But first... Holy Haley. crud. Yes! Before we talk know. about the Ninjago set, there's something yes, else what newsworthy that's yes, Ninjago related. The spoilers for March of the Oni, if you haven't seen it, but oh, March no. of the Oni March aired... of the Oni? That's the coolest March of them all. March of the Roni? <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni so, from Lego Island? Yesterday on Cartoon Network, uh, March of the Oni was aired in a two-hour time... Uh, time slot. Time slot, yeah. And so they released the movie version of it. So way back when we were talking about, we're like, are they going to edit it differently? What is it going to look like? It is edited differently. Um, for the majority of it, it's the same. But the big thing was that Cole's whole arc in the last two episodes were completely uh, mixed around. Um, so for those who haven't seen it, major spoilers... Cole falls off the ship in shenanigans stuff, and then he falls to what everyone thinks is his death. Um, in the movie version, which was aired yesterday, we don't hear from Cole or see Cole until he busts his way through the ground in the final battle. And that's the first time we see him again. And then he's like, you couldn't get rid of me that easily. And then it fades back into the scene where he wakes back up. Which, so essentially, they switch around the whole around scene the whole of thing. him surviving to bait yes. the audience longer and into his the, death. The stinger at the end of the episode, The Fall, where it's like a really cool shot of them going like across the building and then down the building. You can hear them all screaming and all that stuff. And then you see Cole. That was cut completely. That was not even in, in the movie. Um, but uh, the fades were a little awkward. You could tell that it was like a cut and paste type of decision. Um, it kind of destroyed the uh, the momentum the of the fight momentum scene. Momentum of the battle, yeah, because it was just all of a sudden, whoa, we're back here, okay. But for those who watch this for the first time and have no idea what happens, March of the Oni, 
the cold death scene felt more permanent because he there was even there was no word of him until he came back yeah. so it was more of a like oh, it he's sounds back. like he's they, back, so. they trade one evil for another because yeah. they make the cold thing a bit more palatable because they don't have the uh, the bait and switch with that ending stinger mm -hmm. and then an immediate revelation that he's alive yeah. however they break up the final battle by having to explain how he got there so mm -hmm. pick your poison really mm -hmm. And it was funny watching it because uh, they skipped the scene and I was like, wait, did they just take Cole's part out? And then we, it kept getting longer and longer. I'm like, where is Cole? Like, are they just going to leave him out of the thing? They have to bring him back in. And Might then as well. It was, uh, but uh, but how, how does that whole film version thing work? Like, is so, did he have episodes of things? And then so March of the all... Oni is technically season 10. Uh, mm -hmm, it is a four mm -hmm. episode season. And okay. the last episode in the season is technically, if you count including the pilot episodes, it's the 100th episode of Ninjago. So this okay. is a special season. That's a 100 episode special. That is also the end of the trilogy season. Sons of Garmadon, Hunted, plus March of the Oni. And this ends the arc with the Oni, which has been introduced in Sons of Garmadon. A short version that X can understand. It's a four-episode celebratory season yes. that they smashed together into a movie. And they ended the so movie as like a celebration. So okay, X so with the next question. So the season was just you watched four episodes and then you watched all of them again together as like a movie. <laughs> Edited slightly. So we watched it. Edited uh, yeah. slightly. Yeah. That's confusing. Yeah. Weird. I okay. Yeah. So we I watched it. A big a okay ago. from me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we watched it a couple of uh, months ago for Ninjago Cast. Those were episodes. They came out, um, in different days from each other. Um, this one was all at once. The entire season at once, and there was For no. For worth X, I completely agree with you. Yeah, it's very was... arbitrary. Is there a wolf no in there? Intros. <laughs> ah, Is there a wolf there with were... uh, a bunch of tails? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> that's 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 what we're about to talk about. Okay, but cool. There was uh, no intros, no uh, recaps, no nothing, which bow, means bow. I did not get to see Cole say previously on Ninjago, not one single time in Rip. Good, you know so. I'm That's sure the, somehow you'll find story. a way to carry on. <laughs> I'm sure, maybe. It's just too hard sometimes. Just to think that they could be getting rid of it completely. Uh huh. <laughs> and he never had his chance. Yeah. On U.S. television <laughs> to shine. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun rewatching. So, it. so all in all, when we when all is said and done, and you've finally seen the movie version. Do you think it was necessary to build up such mystique for its existence? Or should they have just the aired it that way from word go? <laughs> yes. Um, well, I think the main purpose of them doing a movie version, which they probably aren't going to tell us, is to just have Cartoon Net Network air it just all at the same time. Yeah. Just to get it over with. Because it worked. It's done. Now we can move on to what we're going to talk about today, that season. If it was a four episode thing, then they would have to find a time slot for four episodes and it would just be a whole mess. So this movie helps out Cartoon Network a freaking ton. Um, the movie is, of course, you know, a throwdown at the Lego Ninjago movie. Um, and it, I mean, it was, it was cool watching it edited differently uh, in some parts. So I mean, yeah. I can imagine if I'd seen it as a movie for the first time, I probably would have hated it slightly less. Because yeah. I wouldn't have had the weeks to like speculate about what the mm -hmm. uh, ending was going to be and the garbage advertising campaign. So. Wait, you hated the thing? I thought you liked Ninjago. My oh, I love Ninjago, but the last season slash movie was an utter train wreck. Oh, you should, like, you it was... watch the oh. most recent Ninjago cast where oh. LJ and Meso take it and drag it through the mud and dirt, and I'm just like, it was great. It was built up to such a high degree that like stuff was going to go yeah. down, like dark and serious. And then in the end, like status quo was so effectively maintained. There were they were like physically hurt. Two uh quote unquote deaths that And they both got undone. Stuff. Yeah. So oh. Cole like fell to his death and then they immediately revealed that he was live in the episodes in the movie. It was like he came back after a certain time. Lloyd actually died and we saw him in like I guess quote unquote heaven or the afterlife, and then he decides to come back to life. But it like you could just do that in Ninjago. Can... Yeah, but this is the first time oh, I died. Really... But I don't want to. Yeah. Well, they, they did this a few times. 
Nia had this, Zane had this. Um, Zane had this twice, three times. Wait. Zane, Zane's they... been up. But do they ever like look at each other and just like you guys? You know, guys, we've been like almost dying a lot of times, but we just never died. You guys feel that? You know, they should. I feel like I feel like they should say that. They should say that to Zane at some point. If he gets hurt, they just look at Zane and be like, "Zane, are you okay?" Like when is uh when is Nia had this almost death? Uh, Skybound. Excuse me. Oh yeah, that guy got got him. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I got it never she, happened. She died in Jay's arms. They both remember that. <laughs> got totally undone. Happens. Never happened. Time no. Travel. Skybound's okay. like one of the best things. We Dago's learned ever about brought. this last night, Tyler. That time travel may not matter to some people, but it matters for others. Jay remembers <laughs> that. Nia died in his arms, and he saved the world because of it. Yeah, but does Nia remember like what the afterlife was like? You know, know. Jay is currently wondering why this wasn't its own episode of Ninjago Cast. Yeah, this is Ninjago yeah. Cast, guys. Mm. Like oh, I man. said, Ninjago feed. This is Ninjago feed. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, There's no anarchy oh. here! Well, hey. what's, 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 wow. If this isn't this, Ninjago wow. feed, what, what are we about to talk about next? <laughs> it says on the Star thing, Wars? it says brick feed. This is brick Star and Wars brick next? feed. This is... Is, it, is this going to be the next thing where we're not allowed to talk about Bionicle and Brickfeed? Is it going to be we're not allowed to talk about the Jago <laughs> no, story on Brickfeed? No, no, we're not. No, no, no. Guys, I, I took my Bionicle set to the beach this week. <laughs> oh, what? I made a Lego did, trailer with Lego. With, like, okay. Ninjago yeah. characters. Ninjago characters. <laughs> you did do that. I was Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, Tyler was Lloyd. You were Lloyd? Okay. Yeah, okay. he was Lloyd. Was, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So, All right. What do we got? So let's. What do you think we got? I guess move on to <gasps> new morning Jago. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Brickfeed. We'll see you all again probably next week. No. Fair what? <laughs> I was I was gonna ask. I was gonna say. Did I just freaking wake up to talk about March the Yoni for like five minutes and then leave? Yup. No. Right. no, don't leave. Haley, I want you here. <laughs> Alright. I want to ask you something Aww, later. So, so you have you have use. Stay. <laughs> what? But you no longer use. have use. You <laughs> then, then you can leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> then you have my permission to die. So we yeah. are going to talk about that's right everyone, the new Ninjago sets which were revealed Whoa! I'm pretty Whoa! sure just yesterday. Oh. Yes. I will mute you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, so we're going to start small, go large. Uh, starting off with set number 70671, Lloyd's Journey. Oh. The set contains approximately, I don't have a part count. Talk. I think before we go set by set. You are kidding me. Say something about the wave. Uh, because that's how things yes. are properly handled. No. So the wave in total is going to be doing an interesting thing for Ninjago. It's kind of like Hunted 2.0, where we're going to have split stories. Where, like, some of the ninja are split off doing their own thing, and some of them are doing other things. But unlike Hunted, it won't just be a singular set for the uh, the Ninjago yeah. crew. This one's pretty much even. We have Lloyd and Zane adventuring in the realm of ice, whatever that is. I think Neverland. Neverland. We yeah, got Andrew product Lewis, descriptions. Neverland. I think Cole's there, too, for, like, some of it. Mm, and then we have the rest yeah. of the ninja there for uh, the desert adventures, the where they fight the desert. fire snakes. You know, the Pyro snake. desert. Yes. The, the Ninjago space. box design yes. has had its first template change in its entire existence. We now have the logo on the left side going vertically and the image of the ninja like partially cut off going all the way down the right side of the Look box. How beautiful it looks. It looks a million times better. It looks super cool. There's like way more, you know, space on the box for the set to actually mm -hmm. breathe. You know, and the the image of the ninja is way more striking than just their head is. I M O. Uh, all in all, just that's a top yeah. tier change. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And it's then uh, awesome. also something that we can only see like on all the sets before we get into a set by set, we have this cool group shot of mm -hmm. the ninja mm -hmm. doing, doing their best anime <laughs> hair impersonation. Where? <laughs> And the it's the black side of it. Yeah, the back something? left side of every box. I'm oh, not showing this until we actually so get to the sets. Awesome. 
Well, tell me, LJ, which arbitrary set would you choose in your set by set order to uh, put up as, as the well, picture? Whichever one you insist on showing the back of. Right. So the arbitrary choice is on you. First one, do it. Got him. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that up right now, so. I got you, fam. Uh... But because you're putting the combo on pause, I'll uh, I'll just take a second to find it. I'll just uh, you know take my time. Boom! <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Haley. Look how awesome they look. You like, didn't even post is... the back of the box. <laughs> you're right. Yes. She posted the important part of the back of the box. <laughs> yes. I, sh I, I already cropped it and everything. You need to move, move faster, Tyler. Gosh. I mean, I already cropped it too. I was just making life difficult for Elvis. Like, how can you just sit on being a stickler? Just <laughs> imagine how beautiful that is going to look Listen, in animation. Right now. It looks outstanding. I'm pretty sure this is the most VAR I've felt about a conversation on a podcast. I'm just ready to like talk about it. VAR. I'm just ready to talk about the actual meat and potatoes. I want to talk about what's actually here and visible. But look at the mini figs. This, is that not visible? Look at them. VAR, ironically, VAR ain't on your side at all. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't want to agree. I just... Oh, look at me. It just looks so pretty. Like, are we talking about the set now? <laughs> I'm talking about the, the minifigs. Well, I'm not talking about uh, the, the set. We're talking about the minifigs in the first set. Well, I'm in an interesting the conversation. The minifigs. Okay. OMG, that... let's move on! <laughs> the minifigs as a whole? No, the minifigs in that, like, drawing, the concept thing with all We're still hair. talking about that? Yes, because they're beautiful! I mean, it, it's, oh. it's very generic stuff. Oh, it's very generic. <laughs> it's, it's very GT. Yeah. Bunch of like, you. yeah, like no, it's literally it's, it's a bunch of look, look, a look, bunch look, of colored look, rangers look, with their own look, elemental powers. Look, they, they don't have, look, they've never had look, it like that before on look, their head. Look, what spiky look, anime? No, look, they haven't. The I have constantly look, look, <laughs> doesn't have to happen look, in your command. Look, it is look, the look. I'm saying stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> These sets have been leaked for months, and we haven't talked about them once. So all the stuff that's old to some people is new to this podcast, up to and including their anime hair and what that hair. means. I've not looked at it. Yes, crazy, the the purpose the purpose of withholding leak discussion is that when it's official, we get to talk about everything. So mm. we'll mm. we'll do it, you know, set by set if it makes you feel better. But these conversations are still going to come up. There's gonna be later. So, by your by your decree, the first one, Lloyd's journey, it's pretty small. Yeah. It's a turret and it's a wolf. But it's crazy because usually when they have <laughs> expensive, unique molds for like, uh, they're really like good characters like these, it, they they put them in like the the big boy sets, you know, just so they're <laughs> like, hey, you want to get the big castle thingamabob? Because then you get the. The, the wolf and the, 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 the guy, you know, and stuff, but they just put that in, in a nice small set, which is really nice because they really, really like that wolf because it looks like, um, it looks like, uh, the wolf from that, that old game, the Okami. And I, I didn't know the name of that on the, on the top of oh, my yeah. head. <laughs> so <laughs> and, but that, that was the first thing that, I, that came to my head. And I kid you not, I just Googled dog drawing game Japanese and Okami <laughs> came up. I was just like, oh, there you go. Thanks, Google. So that was that was a nice little nice. tidbit there. But yeah, like I actually want to want to get this just just because it's such a reasonably priced set and you actually get like the cool wolf. And like, do you guys know what the wolf is in the war? Is that uh, is that a person that turns to a wolf? Is that like we don't know yet? We don't know uh, yet. Uh, uh... Well, they, they say that it's a wolf in their translation. However, I think it's supposed to be, or what, what they're saying in the chat right now, um, Wad and Craig and Magic is saying it's supposed to be a kitsune or kitsune. A fox. A fox. <sighs> so, which it does okay. kind of look a little more like a fox. I think fo the fox with three tails is more traditional than a fox with three tails. No, a wolf with three tails. 
Oh man, I, it's it's so Which iffy is when it's, it's disappointing like... to me because I really want that to be wolf for obvious reasons. But... <laughs> like whenever um... whenever there's any concept of like uh, people turning into to animals, the only thing I can think of is just animorphs. It just it just looks we so funny to me. Uh, we had a good laugh at that off recording back when we mm -hmm. thought it was like a furry kind of a person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's going to be Lloyd's quote-unquote pet for the season. He's going to have a wolf-slash-fox sidekick. That's going to be great. I also really like the con continuation of using those um, like, st those th those Stormtrooper riot shields for, for like, the, um, I guess you could call mm -hmm. it, like, the roof of this, because it, it kind of mm -hmm. gives off that, like, um, like Asian architecture. Is, is that what you might refer to as you know what i mean yeah, yeah. but it's just I, I really like those pieces as a whole because um as we like saw it being used in, like the new yeah. year's dragon as well like there's there's a lot of really like lego likes using those for a lot of uh, cool stuff and so it's always great okay. getting those in different colors as well because they can use them for like armor and a bunch of, I, just, I just like that piece all right yeah. and i like that they're <laughs> using it in genius ways you know they, they made it for star wars and they're actually just using it in a bunch of other sets, which is nice. And I really like that samurai armor, but I, I don't like I'm I don't like that ice thing on it. Ooh. Because cause then you <laughs> can't use it for other stuff. I do like it within the context of that minifigure as in and of itself, but like They're ice zombies. Yeah, okay. Ice zombie but, emperor people. So they're samurais. so this is like the Chima wave. Almost exactly. Yes. Yes, they're redoing the Chima good. thing. They're just like, oh, it didn't work. Fire versus ice. Yeah, it didn't work the last right. last time. Like last time Chima did this, they just died. Let's see if Ninjago can <laughs> oh, can not. take it as well. Let's see if they can survive. Ninjago takes the flaws of everything in its past and then just makes it so much better. Chima. Ah! Chima. <laughs> I guess. In some but, way. But the, know, right. the, the ice, the ice <clears throat> texture on the armor is fantastic like it they really did that oh well. yeah yeah but like like I said, I, it can't reuse it but it's oh it's so detailed and so great yeah i, li I like a lot of the minifigures i like when they like poof up the mm -hmm. minifigures you know to, to be all super fancy and stuff you know it makes you feel like yeah. you're if, if i had to pick one thing that is of merit to talk about in this set it'd probably be the lloyd minifigure because mm -hmm. i really it? like it <laughs> it's uh really it looks very boring to me. Is it like special in some sort of lore way? Like it just looks no, like not necessarily. Voice. But like he doesn't have his hood, and he's going instead with this like black half mask to add some contrast. Which, you know, typically that's not his color scheme. You'd put that on coal yeah. instead. I'm not sure why he has a contrast in color, but it really because works he's getting with the more staff. edgy. That's, why he has black on. that's probably why we're going into like Sensei Lloyd kind of territory. So yeah, why know. doesn't he have a hood? It's cold out there, bro. The cold exactly. didn't bother him anyway. He's going through his like Riku phase, <laughs> basically. That's he's got he's so doing. much hair; it's it's just a perfect hat for him. It's insulating. Yeah, nice. Yeah. What about you, Envy? Do you like this small set with the the dog from Okami in it? Do you think it's neat? <laughs> so not, not a dog. Opinions. Not a dog. Okami. Yeah, it's a dog. Yeah. It's a dog. I mean, it's I, a pupper. I, I think it looks it looks well oh, built for a little a little wall. You know, I like the, <laughs> yeah, the it's... choice of brown in there with like the little shuriken, whatever on top of it, and the little fang in the middle. I think they're all very nice touches for something incredibly tiny. Yeah, tiny Pricing a good, good small set. I think that that sums it up pretty nicely. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. yeah. Nice little dude, bro house. No, tiny, that's actually tiny. A... tiny. Tiny yeah, dude but house. I don't know. It's it's a bit. It has like lighter colors on it as well, and it's not just like black and oh, dark fair, gray and lava fair. and stuff. It's not as dude bro as the Darth Vader castle. It's not as mad nah, or as dollhouse. Yeah. Well, what would all those giant Ninjago sets be? Are those not dude bro dollhouses? No, those are vehicles and uh, Lego sets. You know, no, the, the big ones. The Ninjago City, the temple. What would you call those? Uh, I don't like it needs to it needs to be like at least two stories and it needs you need to be able to like look turn it around and then it's like just a dollhouse inside if that makes has any he, sense. Has he seen Ninjago City? I have seen Ninjago City, yeah. Alright. Yeah, it is it, it doesn't fit that complete utter uh weird random 
definition that I just made up today of it but being like it has a... like five stories. I know, but you can't turn it around and then you see inside. It's like an actual whole building. It's not a dollhouse, you know. You can it's take not. It apart, like you can like take it. I mean, it. yeah, but then it's just a different product entirely. Why are you butchering my joke so much, Haley? Please. <laughs> yeah, what? Why... What did I do to hurt you? Why are you like this? Why are you? Like... Takes Ninjago very seriously. I take my Ninjago oh. very seriously. But yeah, no, this is a nice set, LJ, but I think we're I think we have said everything that can possibly be said about this set. Indeed. I can only imagine. <laughs> Alright, moving yeah. on to the next one. one. Set number I do I do have to go on. No, no, please go ahead. Hmm. Okay. No, you ah, okay, I'll do it first. Um I like do have to agree <laughs> earlier on the on the like I do like the box art because it just it reminds <laughs> me of like anime stuff. Like I I I agreed upon what was said about the box art earlier. I also like the box art. Anime, oh no. Anime! I mean, it is basically <laughs> like Lego's anime at this point. To be Come on. Yeah. Go on, LJ, do the thing. Okay. Do it. Next mm. set, set number 70672, <laughs> Cold yes! Dirt Bike. If only there was oh. something of value here. Wow, that uh, rock! How <laughs> dare you! <laughs> Are okay. you really surprised? You're yeah. doing Meso's thing of screaming into the microphone. <laughs> be careful, yeah. he has no, so many hearing! Look LJ, how, how does it feel to be on the other student. side of that? And is it a weird hammer. feeling? And his hammer has a Weird isn't the word I would, I would use. So, oh. The bike is pretty yeah. generic. It's just a Ninjago bike, but... What? Dude, this is one of the cooler bikes. Cool. The front I mean, wheel is really this cool. This is probably one of the yeah. more unique Ninjago bikes in terms of construction. I love yeah. the track there at the front, and yeah. it, it gives a very old, old Technic set vibe at the mm -hmm. very front there with like the, uh, the tank yeah, threads. I like that. And, I like that tread tread stuff. for sure. Yeah, yeah, that that thread. That thread. back wheel, that's a thick Ooh. back wheel. <laughs> Those threads have been used in so yeah. many sets for a very long time, yeah. and they've never been replaced. Like they, they. I they... like that. Those golden uh, hubcaps. Well, they're not really hubcaps because they uh, cover the whole thing, but still pretty mm -hmm. sweet. This, this bike is gonna look really good in the show. Oh yeah. Come on. All right. Um. You know, my my Ninjago fellas. What is why why do Ninjago hate hate snakes so much? Why are there so many snakes? <laughs> why, why, why are we Ninjago, getting snakes why, again? Why do Ninjago well, hate snakes? Why why we had, why snakes? We've had too many seasons where the villains haven't been snakes, so they have to bring it back. Like there's a thing. It's been like two. I don't like, like three. I don't Mark like the consistency, barely counts. though, because Mark, 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 I mean, this is it is a season that counts. Barely counts four episodes. Three seasons. But these snakes like look completely different. They have like new molts and stuff. Yeah, like, these I are flyers. Like we'll these wait. Are, we'll uh... wait till Scales explains who the heck these snakes are. Could, he will. Couldn't, at couldn't some they point. just make snakes. something? These are fiery different. zombie mummy snakes. sand snakes. <laughs> these are. I these know. Are. Can't they just do something that's completely different? I've just... Uh, it's I mean, so I, I'll be honest, I, I kind of feel like they were very close to making these cool, unique enemies that were like fiery sand mummies, and then they were just like, let's just make them snakes. <laughs> and the, the, the snake head kind of yeah. looks awkwardly shoehorned into the rest of the minifigure. <laughs> like, it barely even works aesthetically. <laughs> they yeah. could have had a way different yeah. head. <laughs> I'd like the ice samurais a lot more than these snakes. Yeah. To say the least. Well, I do also have to complain that I don't like when Cole's vehicles like they they look like they're part of they part rock. I don't. It looks weird to me still. I don't like that at all. Like on the that's, that's, thing. that's Cole's thing. Like, it's yeah, but it's thing. a vehicle. It's it, it can't have like some <laughs> so, of it be made so of like a rocks. Lightning jet can't have little lightning stuff on it, and a fire bike can't have fire bike. That stuff makes on sense, it. but this one is just like <laughs> oh, you know, let's <laughs> instead of putting you... armor. All right, let's. It's instead of putting. Okay. Are you being no, no, no. elementist on bikes? All right, all right. Let's let, let me put this into perspective. All right, I'm a lightning guy. You know, I'm gonna fly with my sh. Uh -huh. all that stuff. You know, and it's got lightning coming out of. It. That makes sense, right? <laughs> you know, Cole over there, right? He's like, I've got like this bike. It goes really fast. It's supposed to be a really smooth vehicle. You know, I could put like a really smooth armor here to like define this uh, like side of the vehicle or whatever. But instead of putting on armor, you know, let's just put some gravel there. You know, just throw some gravel on there. That'll work, you know. Epic that, gravel. That does not make sense to me. It just, ah! Uh, 
It's like a bowler on the side of it. It's a super sturdy bike. It's got no. It's made out of rocks. It can't be sturdy. It's gonna it's cobblestone. It's not bike. gonna work. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's this thing. Have you They're tried to make a showing. motorcycle in know. Minecraft with cobblestone? <laughs> you know. You can make motorcycles in Minecraft. I mean, yeah, go find out. It's pretty cool. It depends on if the will's there. You know, if there's a will. <laughs> if it's a will. There's a way. Oh. It's but an yeah, alright bike. Yeah, it looks better than both. Yeah. Probably will not buy, but gets design props. And I like, I like Sli Cole's slightly suit. more inclined to I buy. I really that. like Cole's suit. Tbh. Yeah, I think uh, I like that his band thing on the head is orange. That makes yeah, it stick out a lot I didn't, more. I didn't that looks like good. it at first, but then it, it grew on me, especially with the background and I guess the tone of the season. But it looks like a Naruto guy. <laughs> this band thing. <laughs> Some I can't help. Something I can't help but notice, Hala, you were wondering what Kai was holding, and we determined that it was like a sword with a scroll on it. Mm -hmm. There's a weapon with a scroll on it in every one of these sets. Yeah, I know. Cole that. has it like coming off the back of the bike, and then the it's next like one. Spear, the yeah. It. yeah. There's there's yeah. one in the, uh, the 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 temple set too, but it's a uh, ice foot one. So that's gonna be very interesting to discuss mm -hmm. what those are. But I think those are like something to do with Forbidden Spinjitzu and stuff. Totally. The scroll of Forbidden okay. Spinjitzu. By the way, Fallisk in the YouTube chat says that with you Ninjago has had snakes in four different years. Accurate. Mm -hmm. Yep. Four years? Uh, we had the actually, initial snakes, of which there were five tribes. Yeah. Then we had the snake cultists, which, which were dudes that wanted to like become snakes. Then them. we had no, the new the snakes. Five. Then we had new snakes, which were a bunch of tiny little snakes that could join up to form big snake people. And mm -hmm. now we have these snakes, which are yeah. pyre, fire pyro sand mummy snakes. Yeah. So we had they the, the run out of tribes, ideas with snakes eventually. The five tribes that worship the great devourer. Um, and then they want people who wanted to become one of the best of the five tribes. The great devourer is the reason for a villain in season eight. And then the Great Devourer had children, which became the Vermilion, which were the tiny snakes. And now we're moving on to this, which is interesting because there is a set with a giant snake in it that isn't the Great Devourer. So I'm thinking like... The Great Devourer is long lost, just the cousin's brother. Or like a different <laughs> universe or something, but... The Greater Devourer. <laughs> yeah. The Greatest the greatest, devourer. the greatest Devourer. I you by one second. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, congrats, they, who cares? They like snakes. And the snakes have like popped in in and out um they've helped out like season two they were a pretty big part of it um and rebooted they were in it for a couple of episodes like they're 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 in it a lot yeah. <laughs> serpentine are yeah they're, they're there so point being next set unless you have something yes. to say I'll... Oh, no. lj this kind of looks like a robo rider yeah 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 i can see that hmm. all right next but set cool on it Set number 70673, Shuri Copter. There we go. Huh. Thanos Copter. Oh, do you want to give some opinions? <laughs> you <laughs> 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 yes, Ruffle Copter. Swa, 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 swa. It's a cool helicopter. Copter. Dude, I really like it's that drum. <laughs> but <laughs> what? Ice on a helicopter? Yeah, like, nice. what? That is That shouldn't work. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't work, but it looks cool. <laughs> I, I like the big shurikens that they have. Is that, is that what it's called? Those look like... Look I would like, imagine look so. look like ninja stars more than shurikens. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was the ninja stars. I like that. And I also it's like really, that... It's called the Shurikopter. Shurikopter. Oh Shurikopter. Oh my god. What Come is on, that at the it very is. front? It's gotta be. I'm trying to decipher what's at the very front there. Is that like some exo arms with meat cleavers attached to it to sort of looks make like, like a grill at the front there? I like looks that. Like that, that's that looks really sort of, creative. That whole cockpit thing there has like a really, like very solid yes. uh, shape to it. Like a, a, like the overall shape of this copter looks really nice. What hell? Like, like... Where is Zane gonna get a helicopter in this world? It's a very. I don't good know question. where he's gonna get an ice helicopter. Like ice is I'm sure they'll find creative ways to like BS the ninja's vehicles as always. <laughs> um, so the, the most interesting thing about these sets is the this set rather is the minifigures because we have the ice aforementioned ice scroll weapon of which there will be more later on in the temple. Mm -hmm. 
And then also the first minifigure for the anime hair. Woo! Oh, AKA Forbidden Spinjitzu. Yeah, Jay isn't what? a very good example of it because his hair is kind of weird, but that yeah. is the hair piece that they're going to add on to the ninja's hoods um, to like show them that they're doing their. I mean, it doesn't look ninja terrible, suit. but Jay is definitely yeah. not one of the better ones. As I far think as that's, that's translucent yellow, and it doesn't look good with blue. I don't like translucent things on many figures like that, so I, I just immediately don't like it a lot mm -hmm. but probably looks cool to, to yeah. a lot of people because they're just like oh he's powered up and stuff but why isn't he like a huge <laughs> like uh like dog cone you know that's like his they... spinjitzu does he yop wow How does g2j it work? looks really good <laughs> does he just stand in it like is it like one whole piece it looks so like short in here works. they happen in a couple more sets where they're just doing forbidden spinjitzu but forbidden is that is that is, that, is it for is it legal the... yes Aha, the there is a story with police that. come to arrest you if you do that there, there is the oh. lore of forbidden spinjitsu which is you and wow. you and download a forbidden you, children, you know hey we're we're the ninjas we do the illegal spinjitsu you know <laughs> to defeat evil yeah well the spinjitsu has kind of faded away it, it's not as uh used as much as like season one they do it every once in a while they don't scream ninja go before they do it and it looks nope. 20 times better. They can so actually going they back get, to the like, roots with it. They can be, yeah. They, it takes a lot out of them now. Uh, that's unfortunate. You know? yeah. 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 The actual site doesn't have too much discussion value. Yeah. Though. It's pretty much just the, uh, you know, it's, it's a cool helicopter. What do you mean? It's got a really nice grill at the front. I like that. <laughs> it does. It's very well designed. Nice. Yeah. And grill. Ninja Star Ice things. Yeah, those are a bit like I feel like if you remove yeah. those, then you have a relative, and like you don't have like the ice uh, details yeah. on it. Then it just looks like a relatively, um, uh, like just normal like attack mm -hmm. helicopter, which I think looks really nice. I think it's cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. The next one though. Okay. The next one though. Next the one. next one. No. What is the next what one? Let's see what we've got. All right, next set, set number 70674. Here we fire. go. Oh, we've had what like that. <laughs> we've had this kind of, oh, yeah, okay. I'll check you the thing. Fire Fang. <laughs> there you go. Fire Fang. Oh, it spit fire out of its mouth. It does. <laughs> this is set 70674. Yeah. Okay, perfect use of fabric. Oh, my gosh. I don't that's, really like when they cool. use fabric. I th they've done this before, though, like a giant snake thing. I feel like they mm -hmm. did that. Yeah, they point. did for the Great Devourer. That is, is that in... Uh, that's probably not. That's. I thought the like end of the tail was like a new piece, but it's probably just a combination of a lot of pieces, I'm pretty sure. Talk about making the yeah. Great Devourer set look like a weak loser. <laughs> oh, yeah. This looks... <laughs> oh, yeah. This actually is pretty cool. This set, this set is dope. This I like the really throne... Cool. At the top there, with like the golden mm -hmm. lava snake. Yeah, this looks pretty, um, pretty yeah. fantastic. With a pretty good degree of articulation too. A lot of good detail on the underneath. A lot of bright colors to juxtapose against the dark ones, and a pretty good roster of snake people too. Two generic mm -hmm. dudes, and then the golden guy, who I'm sure. Will golden. Be yeah, he looks menacing. <laughs> Giant, you know, and he's Mad got a Max staff too. Lava snake, you know. Mm -hmm. How am I gonna handle this situation? I'm gonna attack him with the fire cone thing. Yeah, that's what he'll do. <laughs> I love it. No, uh, it's like this. This set just out of the whole bunch, or definitely out of the smaller sets. Yeah. Stand down. I don't know this how much this costs. I know, I know, you're right. It's forty. I um. Yeah. That's really good really good for a $40 set. Yeah. yeah. I just, this feels like something that they'd have, like, added on in, like, a bigger set that they're fighting or something, but it's pretty cool. I know, right? Just, yeah, so because it's, like, a very... Yeah, awesome. it's a very complete set. It's just, like, I want... I want the, the big fire snake guy, you know? And then you mm -hmm. just go get that, and you get, like, the, the iron throne on top of him as well, but in gold, you know? That's cool. Yeah. I, I like it. I I... I I really like the the sigils on top there. Those look really cool. I probably want to order those um, alone actually to use for like a mock because um, it, it it just looks really cool. Honestly, yeah. I, I I I like the darker color screen. I I like that um, 
I like when they just have, have a like really condensed color palette when it's just not colors all over the place, which, which we had a lot with Nexo Knights. Oh, yeah. One complete creature mm-hmm. in a complete set. There's add-ons unnecessary. There's just the, the scepter thing in the background there, but that's a very tiny this bit. This knows the look count. it wants to have, and it yeah. uh, it does it to completion. Yeah, it's a very good set. I like it. And then we mm-hmm. also have the uh, the Kai minifigure, which is kind of good and bad. Like on the plus side, it's like the same color as his head, so it kind of flows naturally. Mm-hmm. The downside is that removes a lot of its um, what's the word? I guess nuance, yes. contrast, etc. So it just kind of looks weird when it just flows right into the hair. What I also mm-hmm. noticed though is that from what I look. Like from looking at the roster of the minifigures there, um, I thought that the new snake piece um, was uh, like just complete with like the the shoulder armor as well. But it looks like it's two different pieces. Yep. You can have will probably have the armor alone and use that which as is like cool. a normal minifigure, which is nice. I like that. So you can yeah. Yeah, yeah, just just like that, accessibility for other minifigures. If there's any set that I'm I would look to get from this wave that isn't ridiculously expensive, it would probably be this one. Yeah, got that... pretty good value. Like, yeah. great value. Great value. Great get value. Get it now. <laughs> yeah, why a bunch of sigils? You know, that's this is the one right here, the fire snake. Yeah, Mark. can't wait to see this guy show up in the show. Yeah, it's not like a huge spoiler though. You're just kind of sitting there waiting for like a big snake to show up. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if you look at it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but... I guess. I don't know. That's just, like that's. Then they get to the desert. All right, where's the big snake? Come on, show it to yeah, us. Wait, where is wait, it? Come on, it. come on, come on. I know he's come on. Come on. Don't, don't. It's like the first yeah. thing they show us when we get there. It's like they get there and the giant snake. And we're like, yes. <laughs> Pay <laughs> off. Pay off. Because the dragons look really good. Just imagine what a giant snake is gonna look like. Oh yeah. Is Ninjago uh, going towards like? Uh... Like Star Wars area at this point, where they're just like go on remaking old stuff. No, like, I mean, they only just... did that for the last wave to uh to. Sell I know, them. but now they have a snake here, right? And we had like before, right? Now they just made the snake and they just made it. <laughs> wow, snakes! And they added what an original cool... villain. Yeah, they added like uh, cool new minifigures as well. You know, just just like they do in Star Wars, you know. But at least they I got don't color. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it was not very serious. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't know. Next set. Next All slide, right. please, Steve. So, the next set. Oh. Set <laughs> number 70675, Katana 4x4. What a weird name. Four, four times four? Four by four. Katana 4x4. Four, four four four. Four no, no. Four. It, what? 4x4 four means that it, like, um, there's, like, engine drive for every single... Um, yeah, that four-wheel drive, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's it's, it's, it's so not. We're, just... we're finally getting the ultimate Kai Car two after rebooted. This is gonna be like the rebooted mm-hmm. redemption run. Uh, <laughs> what is up with this car though? Uh, it, can't decide, it can't decide what type of car it wants to be. It's great. <laughs> this looks it really this... not good. It has the spinning saw blade that's totally gonna chop people with it barely sticking out from the wheels. <laughs> that's really gonna be useful. You gotta yes. go for the splatters. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a That's rectangle awesome. with wheels. Well, go go on, X. Give your critiques. I don't. I I mean, I just I feel like one of the things that I just feel so many times is just red wheeled vehicles that I've I've seen so many of those hmm. in Ninjago, and this like there's some of them have been like pre, like all right, but this one it, it really just feels like they're just like they just needed something with four <laughs> wheels on it. It does not look. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like it doesn't look like it's can. trying. I feel like the only big thing that it's trying here is is just the the function with like the uh, ninja star at the very front. Yeah. That feels like the only mm-hmm. sort of like neato gimmick or something like because because the shape like it it's it's a very uh, normal shape that they just don't seem like they've done much with like it has a very rectangular shape and it doesn't really I, have I feel like they couldn't make up their mind what they wanted this car to be yeah, yeah. They, and they, they don't use a lot of like neat angles or um or, or like curved pieces here to, to sort of hide the fact that it's just a rectangle it's it's just sort <laughs> of it's, it, it 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 doesn't look like they've tried too much with this it's also very off-putting to me that the back wheels are like hooked on to the engine 
Even if it's yeah, like not technically kind of improper. Of that does change up the shape a little bit, so it looks actually a lot better from like to more towards the back. But like you see what I mean, though, by it's just being like a like a rectangular box, and then they sort of just added yeah. smooth pieces on top of that. Like I, I, the front yeah. grill just doesn't fit. Yeah, and it's like, like it towards... extends upwards, and I'm like, yeah, because it needs to make space for the. It looks like an old car yeah. with giant wheels. It feels like they, they probably made something first, and then they're just like, we need a ninja star at the front here. And it's yeah. like, what do I do with the grill? Just, just move it up. You know, just move it up. It'll, <laughs> it'll move it up. Yeah. Black Snake's pretty cool, though. I like that. That has a very menacing look to it. Probably mm -hmm. is like a shaman. But it doesn't have the, the fiery things on it. So is that uh, also removable, not, you think? Or do you think fire it's... Snake. Yeah, it's just a... Hmm. It's just a dark magician snake or something. <laughs> dark magician. I don't know. It looks it looks like a like a Wait, wizard you, you mage know. druid something mm -hmm. at the back there because you know it's got like this snake scepter thing. You know, it's just kind of standing up there as opposed to just charging in like the other one. He's like, oh, here comes the car. Forget <laughs> Better attack. that ninja star in the front. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's got it's the, the whole thing about the ninja star, but he's there's no one towards the front, so it's yeah. just not really making use out of that thing. Nope. Yeah. So you get one spiky haired uh, mm -hmm. ninja and then one non spiky yeah. haired ninja. Nia looks amazing. Sorry. Her, her spinjitsu thing is really pretty. Oh, too. that's. Oh! <laughs> okay. I thought it was just the ice guy again. I was like. Nah, that's Nia. You've seen two sets. Oh, okay. So this Our is color water, scheme right? varies it's like water. every year. Yeah, I feel <laughs> Some years like it's that. dark red, some years it's gray with blue. Sometimes it's maroon. <laughs> They can never pick a consistent color for her. See the Puhatu of Ninjago? Like, they just change kind of. colors all the time. Okay. No, we anyway. don't even know what color ninja she is. They haven't even said what color ninja she is. Her color's water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which would make her blue, but there's a blue ninja, plus a white ninja who uses blue powers, and it's like, is she the maroon ninja? Is she the gray ninja? Is she the silver ninja? I don't know. But Either way. It's cool. It's not a not a great set. Uh, probably yeah. the worst of the way I've, I've had to say. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of just confused about that. Uh, that blade, though. You lift the car so that you can, like, traverse the desert real easily, but then you got this blade that's going to just get caught up in the sand. Like, <laughs> where's the logic here, Lego? How is this guy going to make it through the desert? He's going to be cutting up, gonna be cutting up sand on accident. It's going to get jammed. He's not going to go this. anywhere. It's gonna get everywhere. Like, yeah, my first vehicle that I built, and it's like... It's coarse, it's irritating. <laughs> it gets everywhere. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Oh, they're gonna throw that line in here somehow. You better. Because they were kind of... Also, joking. like, those huge, like, go um, like covers for the wheels, because it's just a very yeah. big, specialized piece. And just imagine buying this set, and you take it apart for parts, you know? We're eight of those huge gold circles, you know? They're just kind of... Just gonna sit and blow it in here because I, I, I don't like that. that Shout out to Var in the audience who was totally looking forward to a second year in the desert right after the first year in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Made major shout out. Hey, that wasn't oh, last that's... season, that was two seasons. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> you loved that season so much it made him stop watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... it still hurts. <laughs> I will All give right. this it though that they combined like two, uh, I got a they combined, like that. a little bit of like a, like a cockpit window along with like a, like a windshield to sort of, to to sort of have that little seating in, he has in there. Like they, there's a combo of two like windshield pieces, which look, it doesn't look very good, on this I feel, but I feel like that combo, in of itself looks pretty nice and could be like used for like, a submarine or something. I'm not sure. But I thought that I think that's just redemption the... factor. Very yeah, nice. the one redemption factor right there, and the the dark <coughs> magician snake is also pretty neat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, you know what I mean. I <laughs> I know okay. it's just it's just yeah, Yu Gi Oh, yeah. bro. <laughs> Yugi bro. Yugi bro, dude. That's All what right. the card does. Yugi. Next <laughs> set. Next set. Okay. Next I'll set. Are you doing okay? Next set, set number seven zero seven or seven zero six yes! seven seven zero six seven six Lloyd's Titan Mech. Ah, oh, dude, are you excited about Exo Four coming back, LJ? Yeah, 
Good oh, luck. yeah. I'm so excited for Statue Force. <laughs> Statue Force? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, the lack of posability. Beautiful. It definitely... <laughs> yeah, definitely still lacks that. Um, mm. However, Plam here and says it's probably one of the best looking Ninjago oh, mechs yeah. we ever got. Yeah, at least it oh, looks yeah. calm. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Be just Fire because Mac I like the... Definitely still up there, and you know it might be better in the long run. But I just really prefer oh, the uh, the aesthetic design of this one. Yeah, I feel like Fire this Mac is the closest. Got anything on this? Yeah, I feel like this is the closest to like um, I don't know, like those big, uh, like this is a lot more similar to like I don't know, if, not, not Gundam, but like just a lot of just meaty anime mechs. That's just like a very a humanoid figure like this one gets mm -hmm. that across a lot just because like it's it's kind of kind of has like the proportions to kind of pull that off but it also um has a lot of covers as well so it doesn't look kind of like gappy or like the um uh legs are angled kind of weird so it just has kind of has this like very like huge standing up stature I, it I cuts guess. an impressive silhouette basically. yeah but that's yeah the wings that's really cool. help with that um and oh yeah also, definitely it also has dual functionality because the wings can split apart into like a jet and the mech looks fine without them too like yeah it oh. loses some of its definition but it, it looks fine in the set. looks looks perfectly fine and then you have that separate vehicle you can fly around so that adds like play value as well that is awesome yeah, yeah. this is a cool oh. set only thing that like it kind of bugs me though is that like the just the whole open there with a the cockpit like there's I wish that was kind of like covered up and then you had like some sort of sensible neck or something going up to the head because I kind of feel like it looked that that area looks kind of weird to me at the moment but that's like the only big complaint I have because mm -hmm. I do like I do like this color scheme I feel like it I do feel it works it's a very um it's it's uh, it makes the sand the sand green looks really good and it they don't sort of like feel like they've shorn in a bunch of weird colors here mm -hmm. and um, there is a lot of gold but it's kind of like a big good guy mech I guess so it it mm -hmm. I guess it's loud but I I do stand by what I said by that it just yeah it has it has a very imposing silhouette like like Meso said it just it just looks very anime. I guess I think like the shoulders and the long legs pull that off really well. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's like a yeah. It's yeah, bro. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to yeah. articulate as I am Yang. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. I also I really yeah. like Zane's Forbidden Spinjutsu minifigure. I think it's probably the best anime hair out of any of them. <laughs> Just because I feel like that really one nice works because it's nice. It's pretty. Yeah. 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 Like when we first thought, saw this, I thought Zane was going to be the only one to have it because it would make sense. Because of the it's kind of this season. It looks but... like it's Kai season. Yeah, yeah, Kai season again. Get hype. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Gotta fill that score. Oh, uh, dude, looking at the back of the box and seeing the mech in the background there without um, like Lloyd's head peeping out, I feel like that looks a lot better. It really does because you could <laughs> yeah. actually get like a defined neck yeah. head shape. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like it so much. Here it can it work goes. in all those ways. It can work as like a standalone robot or like a mech or whatever. You got options. And it looks this really makes nice. up for the uh, the rectangular car, you know. Yeah. Of the, for the what? what? Yeah. What is? It's also seventy dollars for eight hundred seventy-six pieces, that's, which is great value. That's, I did that not is... expect this to be seventy bucks. That's insane. I might actually buy this one. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's almost nine hundred pieces for seventy dollars. You get a lot of minifigures as well. You get six minifigures. Oh yeah. <laughs> good value in Ninjago. Yeah, yeah, that probably makes they, sense considering it's. I, I think Fire Mech was more right. Nine hundred forty something. And then, and then I see the next one, and we're out of good parts for price. Well, anyway, the mech is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, I like the mech. What is this season so far? Like, the, there's so much going on, so many crazy sets and like crazy places, and it's it's just. I don't know how it's this, gonna work. There, there, there's a lot going on in this season. Well, I feel like Hunted worked because the dual purpose storytelling, like mm -hmm. one of them was a familiar area. Yeah. I don't know how this one's gonna work with two new areas that they have to develop. Like. Yeah, because it's this yeah. isn't like a Sons of Grom on a Hunted thing. Like this is a standalone season, so they have to introduce everything in the beginning and also like somehow introduce all of these sets, what they are, etc. Et it could be really clunky. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see.
Well, it's not just lie. really crazy right now, and we're about to get even crazier. So. Kravix knows what's up. Considering Ninjago, each of these vehicles will show up for five minutes and then disappear forever. Probably. Well, they're they're, they're doing yeah. decently in the latest seasons with their sets and stuff. Kai's uh, car appears. He uses it for like two minutes and they blow it up. So it yeah, it gets right. destroyed mid fight. That was season three. What about the what about the uh oh my gosh, what's it called? Ah, the the, the dragon, uh, tank thing in a. The, the realm of dragon and oni. The dra you mean the diesel knot? The yeah, diesel knot. Yeah, that yeah. lasted for a while. The firstborn set lasted for a while. Um, there. Temple of a uh, resurrection was a one episode thing, but that works too. But they're they're doing decently better with it. Like Lloyd's car is used more frequently. So accurate. So they're they're doing better, but still. <laughs> All right. Like <laughs> on. But oh, right, right, the right, next right. set, the That's legend. The next one is seven zero six seven seven <laughs> land bounty. There you go. I don't think this is a laughing matter, Haley. <laughs> no, it's just so funny when X was talking about there's Y wheels, everything with wheels, and then this comes up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this the set is the best. The this set is the best of the wave, and maybe the best of Ninjago. Period. <laughs> care, care to elaborate, Meso? Yeah. It, if there was a single set that I could point to and say this is Ninjago, <laughs> it would not be any dragon. It would not be any Gundam-like mech. <laughs> it would be the boat tank on wheels. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I completely disagree with you on that front. This, okay. this is so like this is so genre defining. <laughs> this is the yeah. center of points to when they're like, "This is crazy to jog up back at it again." Dude, yeah. this is uh, the elephant from Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yes, and it looks so cool. I fully totally agree on Meso's point of it being like very um. Ninjago defining set because they always kind of have like something crazy weird on wheels like hey there's just the yeah. on the wheels so I, I can definitely see that point though I, I this looks stupid man I do not think <laughs> I, I just it's I just refer back with wheels I, I refer back to Meso's quote for Biocraft his interview I'm <laughs> just in it for the memes <laughs> <laughs> Very accurate. No, man, it's yeah. just it's great. And then yeah, it, it, has a... has, it has a split functionality though. That's cool though. Like, yes, it, it, it splits apart. apart into a cool looking glider and an even worse looking like car. Let's see. It's literally just like a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> what? Woo! What are you doing, bro? You just like lift <laughs> off half the boat. <laughs> Woo can just bail Woo has from anything. <laughs> Woo has he's a like I'm out. He, he's 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 a beyond, house divided he's is done. better than this. <laughs> Lava snake coming up. I'm out. I right. I'm I'm out of here. Who's like eating out of there and jet. he's left him with the <laughs> ugly car? <laughs> Look at yeah. that thing. It's like a box. Yeah. You oh, still look, think awesome. this looks cool, Mess? Yes. You, you're this gonna is buy incredible. this? I if I had this, if I had the money to burn and I had to choose one set from this wave, it would be this set without oh without gosh. without a doubt. It would be the land bounty. See, like I would if have I, to no. buy this, this is coal. Realistically, if I would buy a good one, it would be the snake. But if I just wanted one and I had infinite money to spend, it would be this one in a heartbeat. This looks so meme just because, like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's so like, meme. Woo, it, woo is, so is meme, up bro. there just super serious and he's just driving a boat car thing. Serious. <laughs> 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 it looks ridiculous. Wadden says woo commits suicide by flying into the sun. Suicide. <laughs> 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 yep. But now it's like, it's, forget I, this wave. <laughs> when I first saw the like the bottom front of the thing, you know, with the, with the grooves right below the boat, I thought it was like that CCBS construction foot piece, just like on a grand scale. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like the invasion from below foot. Oh my gosh. It just kind of like a foot. Yeah, there's like a foot piece that looks exactly like it. Oh yeah, it. I know what you mean. <laughs> I can see that. But it's just, it's just a fun set, you know? Yeah. It's I don't like, know. The Boats are pretty cool when they're boats, I feel. Yeah. I prefer like, my boats had, to be boats and not my boats to be defining, cars. A defining yeah. set for Ninjago, I would have to say it's going to be the uh, movie Bounty. Because that thing is just, it has ev a thing from everything, every single season in it, and it has every single ninja, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Land Bounty is better? No. Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> think the Land Bounty has something from everything, every single Who season. Who would win? It. 
moving it, down to it your doesn't need land, the, it, it doesn't need the nostalgia pander. It's got wheels. No. <laughs> Look at Did this you like that wheels. big boat? Do you like it on wheels then? Ha ha. <laughs> Look at this weak loser set. No, <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> but the I Chad, that, Destiny's yeah. Bounty versus... <laughs> no, other way around, Chad Land Bounty versus the, the loser Destiny's Bounty <laughs> movie version. <laughs> yes. I like the movie version a lot better because it's just... Just a boat and not just a yeah, boat. Yeah, I like when boats are boats yeah. and. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yeah, right? The boat, and the boat separate. has like layers. Like it has a, a layer inside of it where like. Onions have layers. layers yeah, this has layers too. You peel off the top yeah. layer and it becomes like, a flying God. glider. Yeah, it has the, the get out of Dodge Woo. Story. And then just the rest is just. Yeah, you can just sit. We don't need to add the wheels. Wooa side speeder. This is literally the fastest. Ninjago can so add wheels. Make it to better. Everything. You can add wheels to it. He has a yeah. strong distaste yeah. for Fast and the Furious, despite never having seen what? So what? She's no, never seen a single movie, but she says bad because cars. <laughs> a car chasing and times. It, it a is movie. beyond. Is beyond generic. It is <laughs> a piece of art that you oh, cannot appreciate for some reason. You get yeah. 12 of those huge gold pieces in this one as well. Whoa. Yeah. You get a lot of gold pieces. That's a lot. Oh, yeah. All right. I think it's time for the grande finale to the actual yeah. set. Wait! Ah! Ah! There's... We do this what in every you, single set. Doing? You are not what skipping it. What was that? It. You are not skipping it. What Cole's was that? Forbidden Spin Jitsu is in this one. How dare you no. leave it out? This nah, is the, this not, is the nothing first to write home time. about there. Even in all the leaks that we've yeah. had, we've never seen Cole's Forbidden Spinjitzu until this set. This Can we get like that Haley scream as like a sound bite? What was that? that? Sounded, ah, yeah, that sounded ah. like a dying <laughs> seagull or something. <laughs> no. Yeah, Cole, look Cole at Cole everyone. Right. Look at Cole. Everyone, look at him. Oh, hey, I'm, actually, cool. Cool. I'm relatively he, disappointed he, because it's not orange. They chose brown. He's spinning and he's got a sword. Holy crap! Wait, you think that's brown? That looks brown. <laughs> it's, ma brown. it's matching the color of the desert, which is what? like a sand brown. Is desert, his hair. Desert his is hair. tan. His hair um, is like I don't desert think is that beige, it's brown. not brown. Yeah. What? I think that's transparent yeah. dark orange. That's transparent orange? I think so. So the, dark the, top, shed, the, but... the very, very top of his <laughs> spinjitsu, forbidden spinjitsu, that's, that's orange thing on his head is I think the, the thing on his head is the same as his, his like pine cone thing his pine... well there's like there's like a little bit of it on the pine cone thing on this forbidden spinjutsu that's like orange and then his head's like a single color it's like the awkward orange it's not the classic uh -huh. orange it's the new like weird orange that is like... the, it's the new weird okay orange. that one it shows a little bit it still looks brown though there is no. Are you saying there? that there's brown in Cole's? Haley, I don't think there's such a color. I may be wrong. I don't think there's a commonly used transparent brown color. It might exist. Yeah, I, I don't. Think there's I any am. Brown yeah, purple says this. It looks brown because there's black underneath it. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Neato. if he doesn't actually get a forbidden spinjitsu like set, then I mean, I, I don't want to buy the land bounty for that though. Come on, Haley. It's the land Tyler, bounty. You can get the land bounty and then you can mail me the coal thing since you probably don't care. Ha, 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 ha. I'm not spending 130 bucks in the land bounty. It's <laughs> <laughs> too much because, yeah, price per part didn't mention that. But 130 1, bucks 000, worth of meme image. 1,178 pieces for $130 as opposed to the Titan Mech, which had 876 for $70. <laughs> so it's swinging in the opposite direction now. LJ, what do you think of boats, but instead of being on the water, they have wheels and they're in the desert? No, they don't float, so they're not boats. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that this does not say on the back, like on the box, does not float, but it <laughs> is like also a boat, I guess. I don't know. Does, does not stand on this the sand. What defines a boat? Does it have to like <laughs> this make? Does the wheels what, not? What is a boat? boat? What is a boat really? You know. <laughs> Come on, let's Phyllis. find out. Q and yeah. <laughs> what is a boat? We just don't know. What is know. a boat? What defines them? We, don't know. <laughs> we just don't know. I'm just gonna we assume that was Haley. 
Taylor? Uh, Haley. Did you just uh, call Haley. me Taylor? I'm gonna uh, hope Haley, so. You said, you said funny Haley. For a so dearly, that was Haley. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with boats? Purple's not real. Purple doesn't exist. It's okay, I'll just in a purple, purple, uh, purple carry. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw her in existence, you know? I think she exists. You know? All right. But I might be wrong. I think a lot of weird things. Bigfoot? Are... So... Onwards to the grande finale of the existing set. Oh, well, there's yes, there's please. more? Does it have wheels? But wait, there's more. No. It does not have wheels? Nope. Oh! So the last set is <laughs> sent. <laughs> So oh it... man, X, you scream! It's got a dragon in it, and it's like an ice. Oh, okay, LJ, sorry, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> seven zero six seven eight Castle of the Forsaken Emperor. Hey, what All are right. your thoughts on this? It's yeah. Haley, don't even bother. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it after bother. probably. <laughs> the lost cause on air. This podcast has already been sacrificed. <laughs> All right. What? Sacrificed? Yeah. What? What's that the... supposed to mean? <laughs> to whom? <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it after. The, the Just... light gods. Uh, yes. This set is very interesting because it's like a building esque. But it's not really. But it's also not one of those fake, you know, wall buildings. It's just kind of like a tower outpost with a bridge. Um, and the other half of the set's budget goes to the dragon, which honestly looks surprisingly good. I was not cool. expecting the dragon to be as cool as it actually ended up being, but that might actually be one of my favorite Ninjago dragons. Really, <laughs> the angle here makes it look like a square. <laughs> and I really like the build of the legs and the uh, the wings. Is there? Oh, oh yeah. is there other? Oh, there is other. Um, That's yeah, cool. Oh, okay. So it has like printed Who or is... sticker eyes. That's not Zane. That's the Emperor. Oh, the Emperor. The Emperor. The Emperor. Yeah, this is the castle of the Forsaken Emperor, and oh, that's this, the Ice Emperor. This dragon's gonna look amazing. Oh yeah. Dragon looks. Uh, it, it looks like ice plus light. Looks right? all right, TBH. But fight me, eggs. What's wrong with it? It it still looks. I am. This looks like an average just, chump I take like... out in Dark Souls on any other day. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think like the the neck and the head, like the the head is a bit small in comparison to the neck, and it makes it look a bit awkward. I feel it makes it a bit like a snake head. If that makes any sense, like it sort of just like pops out. Kind of. I guess. Does that you can see that? Like yeah, but like a lot of the other things connecting this, like the uh, the wings look pretty pretty good. I still am not big fan of wings that use um. Like, the fabric. for lack of a better word, sails. You know, that's not like completely brick built, but I, I don't know how to to make that better myself. But otherwise, yeah, the, like the, this looks a lot better than, um, like the initial box art. Like it looks a lot better from this uh, other angle here. It, it looks a, a lot more meaty, I guess. Like it looks a, a lot better covered up. But I. I don't know, it doesn't really stick me out in terms of, like, uh, Ninjago <laughs> dragons that much. I feel like we've had a lot lot more better dragons in the past. Yeah, still, it's okay. I still feel like Wu's dragon is better. Or <laughs> okay, the yeah, fair um, yeah. Green energy dragon oh. was also really good. Yeah, or the, um... I don't know, I, I feel like that uh, Wu's dragon and, like, the uh, Ninjago movie dragon, the sand green one, are still, like, the, the, cool, the cool, cool, cool dragons gang, you know? No one else is sitting at that table at the moment, I feel. <laughs> but no. This does have the thing, though, where it's like you're not getting either the dragon or the um, the stronghold or whatever. The stronghold like looks looked very good initially. Like It has a, some real color, cool colors to it, but I feel like it doesn't look super amazing. I, they're well, I mean, it, a it's lot... a classic case of where the budget was split straight down the middle. If they yeah. made a sacrifice one direction or the other, it could have been better. And I'm not sure what more people would have wanted. A really good villain dragon or a really good like outpost. But instead, it's like, the... like an alright dragon and an alright outpost. Yeah, like the... Um, I do really like the big crossbow on the far right and the, um, the lady with like the, the 
the Okami mask or whatever on, on top of her head. That minifigure looks really cool. That's probably unique to this set. But yeah, I, I feel like Ninjago has like a, I don't know, like a kind of a bit of a standard when it comes to like actual buildings. Because mm-hmm. like the, the big, uh, the big round, um, I, I don't know what it was called, like a, the temple thing where it had like one skeleton guy attacking from like the previous wave. That I think looks really cool. And I, um, this doesn't really hold to that standard. Like they, I feel like they could have used those um, a lot more of those um, those uh, stormtrooper riot shields to sort of um, cover up a, li- a little bit more. I don't, I don't know. It's just as impressive with uh, a lot of the uh, previous buildings that we've had in Jago before. But like like Massa said, that might be um, at fault because of the whole uh, split budget thing. Yeah, that's just what it is. And yeah, you know, as it works for a set with play value, it gets the job across because the actual you know outpost has enough features to it, enough play functions to be interesting with the bridge and the you know the collapsing down to the side pillars and all that. And then the dragon itself is a really good model for what it's worth. So if you're looking for for conflict, they've definitely got you there. It's just a little one sided because Lloyd, Zane, and the furry friend have to uh, have to save the day. Amidst all odds, Owen oh, Cole's there for some reason. Let's oh, say, oh, excuse me. The, he's supposed to be in the other realm. He's yeah. Here for some reason. <laughs> Cole importance. Maybe. He's gonna be in both worlds at once. Yep. Somehow. Lloyd's anime hair looks okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it looks all right. Yeah. It's very J in a way I don't like it. But it's whatever. And that is the wave. We have this spin. We do not have a name for this wave. We have the Spinjitsu Slam sets, but they're not really worth talking about independently. They're just standard, uh, you know, standard spinners with the new Forbidden Spinjitsu anime Mm hair. The only thing of note is that for some reason, Cole doesn't have one. And everyone assumed it was because maybe he wasn't doing Forbidden Spinjitzu in story, but then we have a set that has him do it, so I guess Cold doesn't sell. No. Can I say? I don't know why. There's There's a retort here, but you haven't made it in all the times I've messed with you about this subject. And I'm very disappointed in you. So I'm just going to do it for you. Nia doesn't have one either. (laughs) Well, I didn't know that. All this time. (laughs) All this I time. know that. <laughs> well, now you do. Cole and Nia don't have one. <sighs> <You might think. laughs> Cole, Cole sold well. Gets canceled. Purple. No. <laughs> Cole's sales are fine. If they, I will be fine if they cancel Cole, but if they have to give him the best death scene ever. They not. They it's gotta, it's gotta, it's gotta... He falls to his death, and then he doesn't. <laughs> no. Then he falls to his death. He doesn't again. get his, back. His permadeath, his permadeath has to be better than the death of um, Matoro, and then I'll be happy. Has there been any permadeaths <laughs> in Ninjago yeah, at right. all? There has been. Um, season but 8 no... and Season 9 had some pretty pretty gruesome yeah, but like, um, permadeaths. But, like, not bad guys? With major characters? Good guys? Um, um, oh, what's her name? Um... Mustake was a good guy that was killed. Um, oh, poor guy. Much better, Wadden. Much better. Well, Rest um, in peace. Who else? Uh, Garmadon has died a couple, couple times. <laughs> he doesn't come back. Hey, Haley, look at, he comes back. Haley, look at oh. Wadden's picture of the land bounty. He found a new HD image. Huh? Okay. <laughs> How <laughs> did he? <you? laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, have you been taking coal out of all of them? Yes, yes. Gladden. <laughs> the legend Gladden. himself. <laughs> Why not? You hurt me. He's going to freaking do, like, Cole's bike, and it's just going to be an empty box. Ah, <laughs> there it is! There it is! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the whole bike out of it. Now He's it's just a, a rover rider. <laughs> it's just Kai. <laughs> Absolutely but, um, perfect. But, uh... No one's ever bike really bike. gone, except um, Cole. Other good Wait, guys who? that have died. Zane's dad, but he was killed off screen. He just kind of Good guy. old age. Um, Stake. Harumi turned good for like a second, and then she died. Probably the most gruesome death of all of Ninjago. Yes, um, very gruesome. 
The death she and... totally could have survived. Uh, the queen or the emperor and empress uh, and their guard was killed in a fire. They didn't make it out, so they were burned alive. Man, um, Ninjago sounds harsh. Yeah, Not for, as much for as some know. characters. For the for the ninja, yeah, they Yeah, until you been... watch it. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's, she's over-dramatizing it. No, yeah, they died yes. in a fire. And it was their daughter's fault. Her Their daughter killed her adoptive parents. Well, Haley's doing a good job. Her storytelling is intriguing. So Yeah, it, ma it right. makes it seem more appealing. You, you should watch the scene where it was Lloyd versus Harumi. That's a really good scene. True. Except for when Harumi gets some weird vocal stuff. But... Uh, for now, though. I know. One, one time, one time, I I asked Haley about Cole's death in the most recent season, and she <laughs> described it. I was like, "Wow, that looks that sounds really cool." And then I watched it. <laughs> yeah, I've always your opinion on it. it. <laughs> it's very <laughs> well shot. Nearly the it's only good. thing I'll say. It did not live up it to is... her description. Wow. Well, it's it does the thing where in a moment of trauma, all the sound goes away. And so you can see their mouths, like, you know, move like they're saying stuff, but you can't hear what they're saying. There's just sad music playing. Everything's in slow motion. It's one of those moments. And they didn't uh, really I just meant, job. like, especially the parts where he's, like, hanging on the ladder and he keeps bumping into stuff. You know, yeah. It just kind of, like, killed your description. Oh. Well, I mean, that's it, what it caused this thing to rip all the tension. He yeah. almost died, man. It was super dramatic. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Should have the been there until I watched it. Because he actually thought he was dead. But, uh, it's his head. Either way, it makes it perfectly fine. For this episode of Brickfeed, we're coming up on the two hour mark. So I figure it's about time to send this we in for a wonderful no. end this. We have to do one one more thing, though. Go on. We have to do the set thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you are you ready, LJ, before we do the rappy uppy? Let's rock and roll. Do the ting. Yeah, man. So, um,. On last episode, we got Noah. Just, just Noah. That's his name. He's just Noah. In... Hello. Just, just, just Noah. Noah. That's all. Just, just YouTube Noah. So the, this is thanks to him. This is the, the set. Thank you, just Noah. Okay, thanks, thanks, Noah. You know, Noah's Noah. 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 He gave us the um, eight nine five seven. That was the random set number, and it is, it is, uh, it's mind mech. Yeah. This, this, Mind this. mech. Yeah. So, you know, compared to the, the other mech that Mind. we saw. Oh, yeah. boy. It's oh, a big, yeah. This is way better than the Ninjago power mech. Miners. Power and miners. It is, and it's Power Miners, which is basically like a worse version of Rock Raiders, but it's still... Discount Rock I, Raiders. Yeah, Discount Rock Raiders. They got like bright orange instead of like cool colors like turquoise and brown and... It worked for Rock Raiders, okay? No bullying. Dude, um, is that an actual, like, gear-operated buzzsaw? I guess. I mean, you're you're doing it justice by just calling an actual buzzsaw because... <laughs> they it did just, that a lot with your factory like in the later years, especially with Brain yeah. Attack, pointless gear function. This is from 2009, <laughs> though. It's only a decade old, so it's still kind of... Uh, that, I, guess, I guess that is kind of old, so... But, you know, this is... um. It's still using the, uh, like, if, if this was made now, it would definitely be using those mixel joints, but you can see that it's got the um, <laughs> the sockets from Bonkle that, like, kind of broke really easily. You see it's the kind of that era, and, like, the socket back there, because it's, like, the very thin... Uh, classic. I sure yeah. love those breakable sockets from that era. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, those are those <laughs> are great, you know, so this... this the set's got a lot of things uh, things going for it, you know. But I, I do like that. Um, one thing I did like with the Power Miners, though, was those little um, uh, those little rock monsters. Because one oh, thing yeah. that I really liked with Rock Raiders was that the whole thing with that the eight crystals, that was their whole deal, you know? Like, the, the good guys want the crystals to, to power up their spaceship so they can get out, and they just <laughs> want to eat it. So in, with these little rock monster guys, you can actually put you can open their mouths and just sort of store a bunch of crystals in it. So I think that's cool. I think that was a really nice play feature, you know. So, but yeah, otherwise, you know, it's, it's an orange <laughs> mech that's barely held together. Like most of the parts that's keeping this together is like the actual. Um, it's a bit. It's a bit clunky. Sockets. Yeah, it yeah. is very clunky. You know, it's <laughs> it's bare. Like 
literally its legs is just three pieces which, and two of Dude, those is pieces that, is that a stick of dynamite on the side yeah it just a has di you know <laughs> yeah this is this is under like uh like dirt he's, he's a power miner you know he's he's, go, he's going around hey, rock monster, stuff. chew on this yeah like, right you know just it. heck yeah dude throw in that you know and you also got the bright orange um like uh mari nui um <coughs> knives stabby mcstabby thingies as well for 7.99 this is a really cool like tiny set for articulation mm -hmm. and uh and play sure. value there's a yeah, decent sure. amount yeah. you can get out of here yeah there is um, a i mean it's not like awesome. the best in the world but yeah know, it's can do yeah, it's still a nice peak back. I don't know. It's not know. like the most desirable uh, part selection, piece selection. Oh yeah, Good this opinion. is very. Um, this barely like uh, covers up, like the fact that, it is... yeah, there you can see a lot of the actual like framework here, just because like it's barely covered up at all, you know. But it's st still a nice peek into the past, and I also did mm -hmm. like that this was. Uh, we got the Rock Raiders helmets back. When um when they made power bands as well, just in, just in blue, so just having those uh like in terms of accessibility was nice. So it was a, it was a nice little peek down uh d down the past Noah. So thank you Thanks for your random set Thanks number. Just Noah. Just no no he's just not even just <laughs> Noah just. Yeah, it's just Noah. Noah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, what do you man. think, LJ? I mean, you're inclined to love this set because it's gr got green, though. So you yeah, love it already, that right? Yeah, that is that is fair. Uh, I do I do like it. Um, yeah. what what was this theme again? Power miners, you said? No, yeah, yeah. Yes. Power miners, yeah. The power uh, miners. Yeah. After rock. It's, it's a theme I I really want to do a review series on. You know, like do a a retired review series on, but because I don't know really? a lot about it. Yeah, yeah. It looks real. It's, it's always looked really. Why interesting. power miners of all the like set? Uh, like all the different like system themes. Why? What about power miners? Like... Oh no! Don't get me wrong. I wanna. It, it's one of one of many. But um, okay. I like this one because I do like the rock creatures. Um, I remember when this theme was coming out. I still have one. A lot of commercials are really oh, okay. really cool. It also has a lot of bionicle P3 colors. So it's just kind of. Oh yeah. Okay. So that's kind of probably a big one. Yeah. Yeah. I think this set Bionicle is, feeling uh... with like the differently different colored rock monsters though. So you got yeah. like a sort of like a collectability thing with yeah. like collecting all the colors. Exactly. Yeah, so I can I, see that. I, I think this is a neat theme. It has a lot of really neat mechanics in a lot of the sets, and uh, this one, this yeah. one here is quaint. I, I think it's just quaint. Yeah. Agreed. So thanks, Noah, and uh, to everyone else. Of course, if you've made it this far, then uh, be sure to put like some ran random set number in the comments, you know, and then we we just we'll. We'll see what set it is, and we'll be surprised, and uh, we'll have a look, basically. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Anyone else got anything else? Oh, <laughs> let us let us commence the end. Oh, this has been two hours. <laughs> Indeed, it has. Oh, yep. Uh, Almost. Time flies when we're having so much fun. You know. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. yeah, we're into yeah, we're in two thousand and nine. No, it's crazy. Hmm. Kevin Hinkle, like we're just we're just in two thousand nine at the moment, chilling. It's great. Hmm. Holy yeah. crap! Uh. I'm thirteen again. <laughs> Yikes! No, this isn't the right music. <laughs> oh. Okay, no, just not again! Not here. again! Grow, grow, the music by. This Are we? Ending? Okay. Crap. Is this <laughs> actually ending? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, all, all endings are merely beginnings. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. That's cool that we got on set that was literally just a decade old, though. Like, actually 10 years. Oh, yeah. Actually 10 years. Okay. Well, in that case, thank you everyone for listening. Hopefully you had a good time. This has been Brickfeed 112. Not 112? 113? Something in that ballpark. Not the, not, not the 3. There we go. There's <laughs> it's too loud. Thank you all so very much for listening. As always, in the description below, there are links to TTB message boards and the TTB Patreon account. Uh, just remember that this is a live stream, so if you're listening to the recorded version, you didn't catch it live, but we're trying a scheduled version, which is every Saturday morning. Hopefully you enjoyed, and thank you all so very much for watching. Thanks to all of our patrons for being a part of this. I'm LJ. I'm Exec Server. I'm Mesa. I'm Envy. And, and I'm uh, Haley. And I'm purple. 
<laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Purple eye. <laughs> but that was me just um, speaking like perfect. Yeah, Haley, that was really weird of you.